I wanted to tell you guys about my skincare routine and what I use on my skin so that it looks like shit, um, like it does right now. Just kidding, I'm about to start my period. So I'm just gonna go over the things that I use for skincare. And looking at all of it together is a little overwhelming, but I swear it's not really that bad. Okay, we're gonna start the day with the Ultra uh, Facial Cleanser by Kiehl's, and it looks like this, right? This is just a cleanser. It takes all the shit off of your face. It's great. Let's say at the end of the night, I am wearing a face full of makeup and uh, and I'm like drunk and I need to take my makeup off very quickly. This will do a pretty good job on its own getting, you know, just like your foundation off. But for everything else, I use one of these. This is the makeup eraser and I just wet this with a little bit of warm water and I face and it gets rid of all the makeup and then I can go to bed and not have and the other thing that's really cool about the makeup eraser is usually when you use makeup wipes I find that I'll still get in the morning like this shit under my eye from whatever eye makeup I'm wearing um, from mascara or eyeliner uh, and I don't really have that after I use do I have lint on my face um, after I use the makeup eraser which I happen to have a code for, ha! So you can get 15% off by using the code QD15 um, <laughs> when you purchase one at uh, the Makeup Eraser's website. Anyway, moving on. So that's your end of day, uh, beginning of day, whatever, right? Okay, cool. So then everything in between, I use this guy, the cleanser, and then I use this guy, the Kiehl's Ultra, facial cream, I should have known that, but I didn't. Um, right after I wash my face, um, before I put on my makeup, it's the only thing that I've used that doesn't break me out ever. Um, I was having really bad acne breakouts, uh, hormonal breakouts on my chin, and uh, and I noticed that that went away when I switched to Kiehl's. I know I'm gonna sound like I'm sponsored by Kiehl's or something, and I wish that I could be, but I'm not. I'm just obsessed with them. Um, but yeah, so that's my moisturizer. And then let's pretend that it's a different day. So that's, you know, cleanser, moisturizer, that's before makeup. And then I would do like a primer and foundation, blah, 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 blah. You get the idea, that's for another time. But this is a day that I'm not wearing any makeup. So cleanser, and then I would use the Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Treatment um, because when I was like, I want to say 24 or 25, I started noticing like hyperpigmentation around my eyes um, and just on different spots of my skin. Um, and my mom has it too, so it's hereditary um, and I've noticed that so I've started using this and it makes a really big difference with my complexion when I use it regularly which sometimes I do and right now I haven't been I've also been going out into the Sun which isn't helping even though I do use a um, surprise uh, Kiehl's um, <laughs> SPF moisturizer uh, I don't have that on hand I think it's somewhere close to the door so that I can remember to put it on before I leave the house. So I would use this and then I would use the um, Ultra Facial Cream, my moisturizer over it, and, uh, and that would just be me going to bed. The other things that I use regularly are this Kiehl's Mask. I use it probably three times a week and it really helps to calm my skin. It's the Candula and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask. Um, and I just use it for like five minutes in the bath and it's fucking great. It's the only one that I've actually been able to commit to because I always buy the little travel sizes and, uh, and now I have a ton of them. So I'll use like one of these little fuckers, um, per week maybe. Um, so I use like three different masks per week. 
multiple times because I have a problem. Sometimes I'll use this one and then like this little, this little rare earth cleansing mask. I haven't decided which of these I want in a full size yet, but I have the rare earth. They all come in a little gift set if you want to pop out and buy it and see if any of them work for you. Ginger leaf and hibiscus firming mask. Um, this is an overnight mask that I've never used overnight. I've used it for like an hour because I'm terrified that my skin won't agree with it and then I'll wake up and my skin will be all red and crazy because that's what happened when I was using um, some glam glow shit that's awful. Um, I wouldn't recommend that, but everyone seems to love it. Um, I use this one after I go out and it's cool, I guess. It makes my face really shiny. Um, the cilantro and orange extract pollutant defending mask. Um, it's supposed to defend against impurities, so that's cool. It just makes me really clean. And then, uh, the turmeric and cranberry seed. I use this one a lot. I'll probably get this one too. Energizing radiance mask um, invigorates, brightens skin's appearance. It's pretty good. I think I used this one the day before yesterday and my skin was looking a little bit better because, I don't know, I didn't do anything for about two days so I look like trash. Anyway, um, those are most of the Kiehl's products that I use. Um, not really detailed. Give those a try. I The one thing that I do suggest um, with products that I noticed, um, because I used to just kind of go to Sephora and I would go grab everything that I saw someone using in like a YouTube video or whatever. And I'd be like, oh, if it works for them, it'll work for me. And, uh, and so I'd get all these new things and I'd try them all at the same time and end up just fucking my skin up and then having no idea if something did work or what didn't work because I used all of these things at the same time. So don't fucking do that, that's dumb. Um, get like this guy and try that out once a week um, and see how your skin feels. Don't use it for very long. It's literally like a five minute mask. Um, or get this guy. This I think was the first, the very first thing that I started using by Kiehl's um, with my regular cleanser, which I think was like a Tony, Tony something um, Korean skin cleanser and it was mediocre as fuck if I'm being completely honest um, and then obviously I switch over to this one and uh, now here I am <laughs> going and doing fucking $300 Kiehl's hauls anyway so um, the majority of my products are by uh, Kiehl's fuck it, oh, but um, I use a few other things still as well um, one of them is this Mizun um, Vita Lemon Sparkling Peel Gel. And let me just, I'm not even gonna like explain to you too much what it does. I'm just gonna show you. So I just put this like on my skin, right? And then you put it on and then you'll notice that it's making these little weird, um, oh my God, it's so gross, uh, balls. And those are dead skin. So I use this whenever, like I have a really, oh God, what am I gonna use to wipe it off? <laughs> um, I use that, um, all right. I'll use it on my dry spots on my legs. Um, I get like these little patchy areas where I'll get um, like ingrown hairs on the side of my legs where my pants rub against. And I'll also use it like here once in a while just to kind of get like, a more smooth, if I'm like doing something cool where I don't want to look like shit, um, then I'll use it like here. I'll use it on my nose sometimes before a pore strip if I'm feeling really dirty. I'll use it on my chin and then on my forehead where I like kind of have like a wrinkle here. I get a lot of dead, or not really dead skin, but just like it gets a little bit more flaky here because I guess it's just an area that I don't really pay attention to. Um, but yeah, that's. That's another kind of important thing on my list of things, and that's not one that you want to do very often, probably. If you get something like this, um, again, the Vita Lemon Sparkling Peeling Gel Skin Tightening Moisturizing Glow Skin. Jesus Christ. Um, that's a lot of uh, things. I, is that the name? I don't know. So anyway, um, 
once every two weeks. Um, I would go once a week if you're feeling really dry. Um, the other thing, I use a Kiehl's um, <laughs> acne, like spot treatment for adult acne if I'm like really struggling, like I should be doing right now because I have period acne. So I haven't been using it because I haven't really known where any of my things are since I got home and kind of unpacked but kind of didn't really. Anyway, um, <laughs> but when that's like not really working and I maybe just have like one big gigantic pimple uh, on my face, then I'll use these things, the acne pimple, does that say master patch? Yeah, it does, by Cos RX. Um, and they sell these, I don't think they sell them in Sephora, but they sell them at shops like Riley Rose and probably at like specialty shops where they carry Korean skincare type products. Um, you can also buy them on Amazon, which is where I bought them initially, but now I buy them from Riley Rose because it's really close to where I live. Um, you get the idea. Um, but you put it on and then you go to sleep or if you're feeling brave, you can wear it out if you don't care what people think. They're literally clear patches. Um, they do have like a little bit of a shine to them. I think, I feel like I've seen YouTubers like put makeup on over them. I'm really not that cool, so I just wear it before bed and then you wake up and then when you peel it off, um, it like sucks the shit out of your pimple. So like it's kind of cool to look at it because it'll be white. Even if, um, your pimple doesn't have a white head on it, I don't really know what it is <laughs> or how, but, um, it does help, uh, to reduce the size of your pimple overnight. So that's kind of a thing. Oh, pore strips, I use Biore. I cleanse and sometimes exfoliate before I use them depending on how gross I feel. If it's been like a month, then I would probably clean my skin with this and then probably wash with a washcloth as well and then put on this and make sure all the skin is off to kind of get that barrier of skin off of my nose so that I can put my pore strip on and just get all the shit out of my face. Um, I've seen people using the black like glue masks and I have one and I used it and I wasn't like living for it. It's okay. Um, but I just feel like the Biore strips work better and I use them here. <laughs> I literally just wet my face and plaster them on. Uh, I use them in like my T-zone and obviously on my nose. Uh, I've used them on my legs before because I really was trying hard to get rid of those ingrown hairs that I got. That's pretty much my daily slash weekly um, supplies. But uh, I know that you guys kind of wanted to see that from me, so now you know all the shit that I put on my face. And like I said, if you want to try one of these, um, feel free to message me and ask me about any of the products that you've seen here. <laughs> um, the other question that I've gotten is what I use to dye my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and address that now since I'm looking at my face and my hair surrounding it. And um, right now I use Jerome Russell Punky Color and I use the color Flame and Bright Yellow and I mix them together and I make whatever the fuck this is. Let me know if there's anything else that you guys wanna know. I'm going to leave. <laughs> Um, like I said, feel free to message me about anything if you have any questions. And like I said, make sure that you try one product at a time. Don't go super crazy and getting everything at once because you'll probably fuck your skin up um, by shocking it and changing things too drastically. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.